Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri, and today we're going to download some data. So this is going to be part of our time series model development uh, that we've been doing. We've built up a lot of tools so far, but now we really need to get a bunch of data. So we're going to start off with uh, weather data. So we're just going to go download this. It's freely available. Uh, the reason I'm going to be using weather data, it'll teach us a lot of like the data cleaning and processing. Uh, it'll also give you the opportunity to go download data from different locations. So today we're gonna to download data from Dallas, Texas, and the United States, but you can go and download your own data and it might have different patterns, different trends. Uh, it'll allow you to explore a little bit more with the data, but let's just dive on in. Okay, so we're gonna Google weather data. Um, you're gonna see here there's a website called uh, climate.gov. So you can click on that and it will take you to this climate website uh, this is part of NOAA, which is, again, an organization that collects all this data. And you're going to see this website here that says past weather by zip code data table, which is fine. You can read through all this if you would like. And again, this is only for the U.S. here. Okay, and we're going to go to this data access tab, and we're going to hit CDO search page. And it will open up this page here, which is climate data online search. Um, we're going to do daily summaries. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff you could download if you really wanted to. And we're gonna go into the date range. So for this data, we're gonna select, I don't know, let's say 2010, January through, let's say 2019, because we have a full year here. Let's do December 31st. Um, so again, let's make sure this year is correct. 2010, January 1st through 2019, December 31st, hit apply. Uh, stations, cities, all that stuff. We can do cities here and we can type in a city. So we're gonna do Dallas and you hit search. Okay, and it's gonna give you this range to show you where it's at. And then you're gonna hit add to cart and you'll see there's one up here. And then we're going to go over to the cart and hit view all items. And then this is gonna tell you what you want. PDF, not very useful for us. Uh, CSV and text file. Let's do the CSV file. Again, this is the range that we selected. And then we're gonna hit continue. Okay, so now we're gonna select uh, the options we want here. Station name, geographic loca location, and we wanna include data flags. Um, it's up to you what you select here but we can select all of them. Standard or metric, we're in the United States, so I'm gonna select standard. And then what do we want here for custom output? We're gonna select all of these, and then we're gonna hit continue. And then this is gonna give you your data summary, so your flags and all that. And then you're gonna to have to enter your email address here, so I'm not gonna put mine on here, but you'll end up putting in your email address, hit submit order, it is free, so this does not cost you anything. And then you'll end up with an email like this, which will tell you um, your submission date, the order, and basically like, hey, just wait a little bit, you're gonna get a second email. A second email will come. It will look like this. It'll say it's completed. And then you can go in here and hit download. And then it'll actually start downloading this file down here. We can show it in folder. And you'll end up taking that file and we're gonna move it to another file, which I've already done over here, uh, and we're gonna rename it. So instead of 2038618, we're gonna name it Dallas Weather Data. Okay, and we're gonna open it up real quick just to take a look here and do a quick summary of what we're gonna be doing moving forward. Um, if you look here, we have the station, the name, the latitude, longitude, elevation, date. Uh, we got a ton of stuff in here, so there's quite a few variables, uh, but you should note from a quick eyeball test, so it's looking at this data. There's a bunch of empty fields. So if we go down and look here, um, some of these fields then start getting filled at other spots, which is fine. You'll notice too that the locations vary. So Mesquite is part of Dallas, but it's a city inside of the range here, the Dallas Metroplex. Um, and this is like the airport, for example. And you'll notice the dates swap. So like the airport has 2010 is when we started. If you looked at the top here, uh, this one starts in 2013. So we're gonna have to do some data cleaning, some data processing, right? 
which data do we want to use, what problem are we trying to solve. We're gonna do all that in the next video, but this is just how you get the data downloaded. Anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, until next time.